uh, Bushcraft family today, um, morning talk. Hopefully this gets out sometime in the morning. But um, today I want to touch base on things that's really been irritating the, the heck out of me. Um, as you know, I did an update on the needy homestead. Uh, Heather and her story and whatnot. Telling people, because I, I was getting a lot of questions and stuff, and I thought, well, it's better to go over to her her Facebook where she's doing a lot of her um, her updates and stuff like that, because it's hard for her to make videos and stuff to put on YouTube. Um, but the the negative feedback that that. I'm getting and that her, she is getting from me posting that it, it's just it's just horrible and I went ahead and, and and left the comments that you can you can go back and read read the comments other people have commented replying back to what was said and basically there's it's all a gimmick all it's all gimmick and stuff and i'm like are you serious do, do you actually go have you witnessed her video where she explains of all the stuff that's happened how can somebody be that that just uncaring just dark person to comment and some of the stuff that they said a lot of it i ha i have just deleted and i block those people that that type of people i don't want on my channel i don't care if i lose all my subs um it's just it makes me wonder why there's so little compassion in the world today i now, don't get me wrong, I do have a lot of viewers that are very, very kind and all, all that and stuff. It's just when you see and you witness some of the stuff that people say, like for my uh, my videos and stuff, I could care l less. I, I get criticism all the time for um, being a fear monger and... Um, saying that I'm a doomsday prepper and all this, and I want doom and gloom and all that. No, <laughs> I just want people to be prepared and stuff. But I get so much crap on it. And I didn't realize um, making this YouTube video that I would have, or making this channel, I would have so much negative feedback on it. And most of it I just ignore and whatnot, but... When I, I make a video or I post comments in my on my community tab and I get hurt, hurtful replies and stuff on that, it's it just it's I'm I'm speechless. It's just I mean the, this woman has went through total devastation um losing her husband and she talks about her her little boy witnessing her dad dying right there in the vehicle and then his mom passing out and having to be in that vehicle like that it, it just and then people post such awful things it it's horrible but i do what makes up for it is all the comments and prayers that the good people post. It it really does make up for it, but it's it's still you see that negative stuff and oh, and then I want to touch a little bit about um, Lee. Um, I'm not sure if anybody knows, but I posted in in my community tab. Um, if, if you're not familiar with her, um, she 
they started Mac, Max and and Lee started van life and they were doing and they they ended up splitting up she she started her channel by herself and was doing good i'm i was subscribed to her i i commented on a few of her videos but me i i never noticed um i because i seldom go through other youtubers comments um i just leave my comment hit hit the like button and move on um she was she was being cyber bullied and it took a toll on her and she took her own life and it's 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 a sad 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 situation when uh you get bullied for something that you're doing bringing the bringing something to a youtube say and people um, criticize you and bully you and it's just it's heartbreaking that somebody would go and um take their own life um i know depression is a is a very very serious thing and like i like i've said to other people i said if if you're in a bad place um just hit me up i'll give you my number or whatnot and we can chat or whatever um i'm not no therapist or anything but sometimes just somebody to talk to different helps um and it's a shame because, like I said, um, YouTubers, once once you get to where you're reaching out to more and more people, it seems like the more the bad element comes in. And most of the time, I just, just ignore it. Um, like I said, I, I've actually had a, a death threat, <laughs> which is, wow. <laughs> Over, over over YouTube and it all 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 it came down to was um, the person didn't like that I was telling people that um, they should go out and get so and so things because there's going to be a shortage of it which came true there was a big shortage um, but wow the 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 depths that people will go to to just put their hate out there it, it's horrible um social media is the same thing the can cancel culture now is if you say anything wrong or do anything wrong even if it there's no proof you can be shunned from whatever you're doing to where everybody and their brother is going to hate you for it no matter what just because it was in the media because of this um and it's 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 a sad sad thing um but like i said with lee it it's it's no wonder there's there's more of this and um which I there was another guy um, I can't remember his name or anything right now, but he he imit he had his cats and he did voices for the cats and stuff, and the same thing with him. Um, he committed suicide because of the pressures of being a YouTuber, and there there really needs to be some some sort of a support group for. This may seem weird, but for YouTubers, because of all the cyberbullying and stuff that goes on, um, most of the, most of the time, I just I just read read the comments, ban, they're gone. I block them from the channel. Don't worry about them no more. But sometimes, when when I put a video out there to help another family. Um, 
and you it's it's not like she was doing it for the money i mean i could see if she just broke her leg and made a GoFundMe, but the whole family was devastated over this and it's oh and just the hospital bills alone they you people don't understand oh you got coverage or anything what if they don't what if what if they don't have insurance um it's not like the the state or whatever's going you're they're, you're gonna get billed for that even if they did have insurance even 20 percent of five years of therapy and all those operations and stuff she well i don't want to go into all the details of everything that happened to her because it's it's been out there enough and you can go look at watch her videos and stuff like that it's just the main thing i'm getting at today is um the people with this hate they need they need to look at it before they post something very bad like this think about it is what if this happened to you and how would you want people to reply to post about you would you want them to be so hateful and stuff um just just show some compassion that that's pretty much it um i'm gonna go ahead and get off of here um i had a different video plan for uh, this this hit me so hard friday some of the posts that i was receiving on this just these two posts that i put one was a video one was on my community page I couldn't do any videos this weekend at all. I was just so furious of how evil somebody could be to post something like that. But like I said, what helped me was the nice words and thanks that other people were 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 giving me uh, about getting her word out and stuff and bringing awareness to uh, cyberbullying and stuff like that. But again, guys, um, God bless. We'll, we'll, we'll see you in the next video. Bye.